Jaya Jaya, gorgeous being, one of my favorite topics, ego, what is an ego, right? A very, very simple way to put it is, ego is your personal identity. You have a personality, you've got an ego. Don't freak out, don't panic about it. Having an ego is really a good thing. So, in the egoic vehicle itself, in your egoic vehicle, in your personality, in your personal identity, you will have aspects which are mature, those are the things you want to keep, and then you have things that are immature, that might be a little bit toxic, or that have the power to evolve, change, transform themselves, so that you can keep on uh, being the best version of yourself. So, when you go to spiritual teachings, right? You might have heard that before. It's, it will, uh, you know, the, you might have heard something like your ego is on the way. Your ego is holding you back. You have to destroy your ego. You have to dissolve your ego to keep on evolving. And uh, so why is it said why is it that this is the general you know mindset that might be out there why is it that a teacher might come to you and say you have to destroy your personal identity what we are saying is not so much that what we are saying is like there are certain aspects of your egoic vehicle or your personal identity that are holding you back and being attached to those aspects are going to potentially hold you back in your energetic or spiritual evolution. This is what you are saying. So what are those aspects? Those aspects might be, for instance, greed or attachment to the past experiences, attachment to certain human beings that no longer serve you, attachment or identity, uh, identification to certain aspects of your life that now might not serve you. So this is why uh, very often the uh, ego is being shamed or accused for the aspects of your life that are not uh, working. So the confusion is, is this one. It is that uh, the confusion is that we uh, are going to tame, uh, tend to label as ego um, everything that is bad in your field instead of labeling both the good and the bad. For instance, I have lots of aspects of my ego vehicle that I love. I'm attached to having very healthy food, super amazing beings in my life. I'm attached to being in flow and in creative power. I'm attached to the different aspects of my life that I, that I love. And this attachment by itself or these expectations in my life are the things that are support, sustaining and supporting my personality. I have a personal identity and I love my personal identity. I love myself, right? So if you are out there and you go like, no, I have to annihilate my ego. No, you have just to transform or transmute the aspects of your egoic vehicle that don't serve you. Where are the areas? So what are the parts that might be toxic that don't serve you? What are the parts that you are attached to that actually holding you back? If you want to evolve as a human being, you have to create space for change. And if absolutely every aspect of your life you are rigidly attached to, then that is going to hold you back. This is what we are saying. This is why the, the word ego or the idea of ego has bad reputation because we associate ego with negative aspects of our lives. And again, in my experience, that's not true at all. Uh, ego can be beautiful, can be optima optimized, can be shiny. You can be really proud of who you are as a human being. It doesn't mean that you have to suppress and destroy every aspect of your personality. That would not be productive. And I don't think it's actually possible unless you want to retreat and withdraw out of society and uh, start meditating in a cave for the rest of your life. So if you are functioning in society, you need to engage with aspects of your personality that are going to be useful for you to get things done. And uh, part of it is loving 
um, the different aspects of who you are, uh, engaging into practices, engaging into ways of um, harmonizing your existence that actually work for you. And so, see behind me here, I have a, a temple, right? A beautiful space, a beautiful, um, yeah, my my space, my, my house, and uh, this space can be harmonized. It's the same for your personality, your egoic vehicle. You can harmonize it, you can play with it, you can uh, expand and uh, give yourself space to uh, to bring this resonance into into um, yeah into the world. <laughs>